Where have you been? Kate reveals heartwarming insight into Cambridge's new puppy. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge revealed details about the new puppy her family welcomed last year during an official outing. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge joked about her dog being upset while cuddling a new cockapoo puppy, Alfie. Podcaster Christina Garibaldi claimed that the Cambridges have been silent about the new addition to their family since the pup joined them last year. Kate cuddled up the cockapoo and revealed their new pet as a girl as she remarked the pup would be sad seeing her cuddled up to another dog. Kate and Prince William lost their family dog Lupo, a present from the Duchess's younger brother James Middleton, last year. The Royal Us host said, Kate and William have stayed quiet about their four-legged addition to their family last year. Of course, they got a new puppy last year but they shared a fun new detail about their pet while on a royal outing this past week the couple visited the Clitheroe Community Hospital on last Thursday, where they met a cockapoo puppy named Alfie as they took turns holding and petting Alfie. Kate said with a laugh, Our dog is going to be very upset, she's going to be like where have you been? Well, good question. Where is this dog been? We want to see a picture? Co-host of Royal Us Christine Ross replied, We're all dying to see this dog, she did reveal that the puppy is a girl, and Lupo, their dog who sadly passed away in the last year or so, was a boy. So it must be different to have, I've never had a girl dog, I wonder what is the difference is the temperament different but it was exciting it's funny like we get these small morsels of details like oh it's a girl dog. And that's so interesting but we don't know the dog's name. We do know that it came from a litter of pups bred from James Middleton's dog and James bred from Ella, who was their family dog, and now breeds from Ella's children so this new female dog would be related to Lupo. Prince William and Kate announced the news of their black cocker spaniel Lupo's demise on social media. He wrote, Very sadly last weekend our dear dog, Lupo passed away. He has been at the heart of our family for the past nine years and we will miss him so much. W&C One of the couple's friends told the Mail on Sunday, the new puppy is adorable and the whole family are beside it. They were devastated when Lupo passed away. It was hoped that a younger dog would give Lupo some company and give him a little more life and energy. Cade's brother, James Middleton also shared the sad news on his Instagram account with three photos of Lupo. It is with great sadness that Lupo, the beloved dog of my sister Catherine and her family has passed away. Lupo was the son of Ella, brother to Zulu, Inca, and Luna. He was nine years old. Nothing can ever prepare you for the loss of a dog. For those who have never had a dog, it might be hard to understand the loss. However for those who have loved a dog know the truth, a dog is not just a pet, it is a member of the family a best friend, a loyal companion, a teacher and a therapist. However for those who have loved a dog know the truth, a dog is not just a pet, it is a member of the family, a best friend, a loyal companion, a teacher and a therapist. He added, many people over the years have reached out to me about the pain of losing a dog and for most, the loss of a dog is, in almost every way comparable to the loss of a human loved one. The pain I felt from losing my first dog Tilly back in 2017 still hurts and hearing the news about Lupo brought a wave of emotions flooding back. There isn't much of a rule book on how to grieve for a dog, but I've said a prayer, lit a candle, and taken Ella, Mum, for a long walk to spend time remembering Lupo. Rest in peace Lupo. Tilly and Minnie will be waiting for you. You will always be remembered and your legacy will live on forever. Good boy.
in 2017 still hurts and hearing the news about Lupo brought a wave of emotions flooding back. There isn't much of a rule book on how to grieve for a dog, but I've said a prayer, lit a candle, and taken Ella, mum, for a long walk to spend time remembering Lupo. Rest in peace Lupo. Tilly and Minnie will be waiting for you. You will always be remembered and your legacy will live on forever. Good boy.